Not everyone gonna, knows what Ashley Madison okay, is. Okay, Ashley Madison, why don't you explain? Yeah, it's a dating site with a huge caveat. It's for people who are already in relationships, but looking to pursue that proverbial something on the side. So it's for cheaters, basically. And you are married, but you... Uh, are enthusiastic about having an affairs? Is I'm that an entrepreneur, and so when I saw that a huge percentage of people going to traditional dating sites weren't truly single, that there was maybe an alternative path for them, yeah, I thought I would build something, and we, we built Ashley Madison out of that. Howard, had you ever heard of Ashley Madison before this morning? I had not. You had not. All right, Noel asked you in the break, I love this, would you invest? And your answer is? At a price. At a price. No, for you, was it? There's a market for everything, or was there a deep reason you're saying, man, I'd love to date this girl, let's make a real market for it? You know, it, it's the out-of-price, I think, philosophy. I was a sports attorney. I think there was infidelity in my professional DNA, in a sense. And so when I saw that data, it was really compelling to me. It was, you know, we all know affairs happen. I don't think we're that naive. And I think that we might be blown away by how many people the day after Valentine's Day will come to a service like ours. But I think the opportunity was there, and I want to pursue it. I, I couldn't have imagined it being in 35 countries with 25 million Members, but that's what it's become. I will, I, Howard. I will tell you that I just learned this this morning as well. But the day after Valentine's Day for um, a cheating website is like Black Friday. It's like actually why Madison's though? Black why? Friday, well, right? why do you think? You know, Valentine's Day is a, is a litmus test of, of sorts, right? So if you have expectations, my man let me down. So well, yeah. If you have expectations, uh, and it can be of romance, it can be of a whole thing. Just maybe even feeling better about yourself. If it once again just feels hollow, and it's not the first time it's felt hollow. This is the second year it's felt hollow. It's been going on for 10 years, whatever it ends up being. You're going to do something different. You can do a lot of things that might be, people would say, are healthier. You could do, you know, join a gym, see a, a therapist, but you might also find a lover. What's healthier than sex, right? Well, yeah, there's romance in that too, right? There's a form of romance. All right, how do you cash in on the fact that tomorrow everybody's logging in? Do you sell more ad space? How does it work? No, so Ashley Masson sells no advertising. All of our revenues are 100% subscription-based, but in, in a non-traditional way. It's not that you actually, um, you know, give us a monthly subscription and then send as many messages as you want. We charge you per message. It's kind of pay as you play. And that way people have to really think about their communication strategy because that's why women come to an affair. They want to be an object of desire again. And so we cash in because the market it becomes imbalanced. For the only, that day, we have more can, women can than I, men. That is the only day of the year. Can I first ask? Um, can we ask Howard if he's surprised by this? Are, can you Howard looks shocked. Does it shock you? Look shocked. I'm from a different era <laughs> than the three of you. <laughs> no, but there I'm were affairs in every era. We are now just using technology. Right, let me, let me, I didn't speaking, get. The, I didn't get the memo on that. <laughs> speaking, speaking of technology, I have to as a. As a guy who uses technology to do a number of things, you worry about the paper trail, so to sure. speak, right? Um, do I have to use we call my it digital old lipstick. email address? Hold on, yeah. what is it called? Uh, we, we call it digital lipstick. It's not lipstick on your collar getting your caught anymore. It's the digital lipstick you if have If your wife in a gets into mode. your phone or your email account, does she know? Is, is there a way to do it with, like, anonymously? Is there a Bitcoin version of Ashley <laughs> Madison? Well, to us, you know, the perfect affair is meeting someone and not being discovered. So everything we do from the moment you sign up is all about the discretionary part of it. For example, when you finish on a traditional dating site, you're really just taking your profile to circulation. On Ashley Madison, we'll go back and recall every message you ever sent, every photo you ever shared. We make it like you're a ghost, that you never even existed. All before. right. We're okay. thinking it through. Do you have meet and greets? We do not. You know, we keep it. My role in this is the introductory platform, a place where you can safely publish who you are, what, why and how you're coming to an affair. What happens in the real world, that's up, you know, to the Can I ask you, oh, sorry, one second. Have you been subpoenaed in any divorces? No, you know, thankfully in America, we've woken up to a reality that people get divorced for a host of reasons. And really, infidelity is just a symptom. It's not the you causation. Know so where so they no, get, we, 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 we've never been. We they get, they get divorced more. And we know this. Before I even read these facts, we know this to be true. In Park Slope, in Tribeca. Wait, we, we need to ask Howard what he thinks. Howard's an Upper East Side guy. Where do you think, what neighborhood has the most infidelity in the five boroughs? Staten Island. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great answer and probably true. But look, the, the kind of infidelity that uses the internet to make it happen, you know that's happening in Park Slope. You know it's happening in Tribeca. But you know, we, we also do, we do incredibly well with affluent communities. We also do incredibly well in, it's not just a recession-proof business, we did incredibly well in tough economic times. In Spain, we do really well. When people need their partner the most, they've lost their job, they've lost their confidence, they sometimes get them the least. And you know, I can't people, believe Old Westbury is on there. I can't believe Brooklyn Heights is on there.
These well, are good communities know, with every, outstanding listen, citizens. But again, I, I'm the one here who's trying to say just because someone has an affair doesn't mean they're not good people. That notion has to go away, right? I don't care if it's presidents, famous entertainers, athletes, or your best friend. It just means they're struggling with monogamy. It doesn't mean they're some kind of sociopath. So you're saying monogamy is a choice. It, you know, it, it doesn't mean you're a bad person, except... It, it's I a man-made construct. It's not really in our DNA, and so we're really poor at exercise. I'm going to go ahead and publicly disagree with you. If you're cheating on your wife, Wife, yeah. uh, you're a bad person. Don't be gender, well, don't be gender specific. On. The reason Ashley Madison is this successful is because women and their approach to infidelity is what's dramatically changed in the last decade. That's Howard Marks, you are one of the most respected business people I know. Do you think it is now socially acceptable? Does it make you a bad person if you are a cheetah? Honey, first of all, if you're watching, <laughs> I'm not involved. <laughs> but for a moment, I was hoping he changed his mind on the money. investment yes, philosophy. There moment, is no price anymore. For a moment, There's no price anymore. Well, I think we're all complex. We all multifaceted, and uh, there are lots of people who are good people in many ways, and and uh, do bad things. Do bad things, and there are people who are monogamous who are bad in other ways. Yeah, I would say, okay, maybe it doesn't make you a bad person, but it's definitely. The wrong thing to do if you're having an affair with the uh, with someone else. But we're not you, behind closed you've doors. Sworn in front of your friends. But we're not behind closed doors. We don't, we don't know what's do led to that. You know, what we hear all the time from our members is, "I love and cherish my children, my economic situation, my home, my extended family." I don't want to leave all that just to find something different in the bedroom. I think we should point something out. I just out. want to Matt, betray my. I just want to betray my spouse. I want to point something out. <laughs> don't yeah. want to. You are one of. The, there's four of us sitting on the set. You're the only unmarried one. So <laughs> I think you don't necessarily have a clear understanding you, of well, the, no, the complicated road of marriage. The reason is because I take marriage very seriously. So you'll never do it. No one be... has said yes yet. No, <laughs> Wait, I want to know what's your growth strategy. Clearly, you are making it happen. There is a market for it. Fidel infidelity, it exists. How are you building your business? It's You're amazing... looking for an investor in Howard. What's well, it's pitch? amazing. If you were if you were in the single dating space, it's really hard to build a universal product. You know, people date differently in India. Your parents have to be involved in China, family name and economics or so. So the the, the traditional models that the US would, would build out wouldn't necessarily work. But infidelity, it turns out is pretty global. Even in cultures where it's prohibited by law, people still do it. It's that much of a biological drive. So we are now in 35 countries, 15 languages, and there's really no marketplace that we can't see us expanding into. They're in one language, the language of love. No. Or lust. Lust. Yeah. There you go. Lust, actually. Yeah, Howard's talking language. love, you're talking lust. And All that, right. it's just keeping it clean. No That's vitamins. talking rectitude. <laughs> what is that? Rectitude. Rectitude. <laughs> I'm... I'm, uh, I have to say, someone just tw uh, messaged me and said, look, if you're cheating on your wife, you can't be trusted. And I think if Come there's on. an issue of trust... You know what? There's... I disagree with that. Okay. Disagree. You can't we be trusted to, uh, in public office. So th 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 I think that's, that's a historically bad notion.